My name is Ren. I'm an introverted high school student with a preference for blonde Gyaru. Sorry for the abruptness. I'm not sure about something. Will you listen to what I have to say? What is she doing? A very pretty Gyaru was standing in the rain without an umbrella. At first I thought she had a broken heart, but this wasn't the first time I had seen her. Whenever it rained, she would always appear there standing without an umbrella. Even though I'm mostly indifferent to other people's affairs, I was curious about her. This time, I mustered up the courage to speak to her. Um, why don't you ever have an umbrella? Because the rain feels good. But you'll catch a cold, won't you? Don't worry, I'm a rain woman. I'm a rain woman. She said it twice. I might step on a landmine. Oh, that was unnecessary. I thought I had made a foolish choice talking to this blonde Gyaru. Oh! I'm looking for a certain boy. I'm not sure where on her body it's appropriate for me to look. Do you want to listen to my story? No, not really. When was that? What? Did you not hear what I said? Are you trying to reminisce about something? When I was young, I wanted to play with the human children, so I went to the park. Whenever I went to the park, it would rain and everyone would go home. I could cry because I didn't have anyone to play with, and I was lonely, but... Why are you crying? The boy gave me his hand. I'm a rain girl. Okay. The boy didn't seem surprised and stayed and listened to me. Why don't you go over to your friend's house and play there? Then the rain won't matter. But I don't have any friends. I'll be your friend. Really? So, will you play with me? We can't go to my house to play now because my brother is there. But 10 years from now, when I'm in high school and living on my own, we can have lots of fun together. Well then, I'll take that as a promise. Yeah, let's do it. That was my first love. Even now, I still cherish the promise that boy made to me. Yikes, I remember now. I had a similar experience a long time ago. Wait, we aren't certain that it was me yet. So why do you dye your hair blonde? I asked that boy what type of girls he liked, and he told me he liked blonde viadus. That was definitely me! Ah, the bus is here! Well, I'll be on my way. I felt sorry for the girl, but I didn't think it was a good idea for me to bring home a Gyaru who calls herself Rain Woman. It was a pleasure talking to you. Goodbye. What's that? I can feel something throbbing inside my chest. I finally found you, Rain Woman. Huh? You've given me a lot of trouble. Hey, what are you doing here on Mioji? I didn't think it was true when I heard about the sighting. I didn't think you would actually be here. What's wrong? Have you given up running away yet? Yes, I've had enough. I'm tired of running and waiting. Besides, I'm feeling pretty good right now. If I'm going to be exterminated anyway, now is as good a time as any. Oh well, then let me get back to work. Don't take it personally, it's just part of my job. It's bad enough that it rains all over the place every time you're sad. Please wait. She's my girlfriend. Please don't kill her. Huh? Huh. Don't lie to me. Did talking to the rain woman make you develop feelings for her? She's a demon. I have to get rid of her. No, she's not. She's my girlfriend. Then tell me her name. Huh? Of course, you know her name if you're her boyfriend, right? I think I remember hearing her name in the park all these years ago when we first met. Remember, if I don't remember now, I'll be a lousy man who can't protect a girl. Well, I'll take that as a promise. My name is... Kana. It's Kana. Oh, you remembered. Isn't it? Hmm. What? Oh my gosh. You guys enjoy your youth. 
A rain woman and a boy in love. Amazing. Why has your accent changed all of a sudden? I don't care about killing this demon anymore. I'm gonna go home and watch Manga Room channel on YouTube. What was that about? I don't know. I don't really know why Anyoji changed his mind, but I have a feeling that it was because he felt the power of our love. Thank you for saving me. I knew you were that boy I met in the park. I knew you'd keep your promise. It was nothing. From now on, if you ever get lonely, you can come to visit me at home. What? What do you mean? You made me wait so long, and then you tried to break your promise once, right? Now, I'm going to come and live with you! Hey, darling? I'm scared. The promise that her first love made to her has been fulfilled. But what will happen to me now? At that moment, I vowed to never again speak to any blonde Garu that I saw in the street.